What's up guys? So I want to talk a little bit about Vercel, Gatsby, and whether you should use Gatsby or Next.js. Um, if you haven't seen, Zite rebranded as Vercel with a $21 million funding round and Gatsby launched incremental builds. So I think now more than ever, people are asking, should I use Next.js? Should I use Gatsby? Um, and where should I host it? Should I host it on Vercel? Should I host it with Gatsby Cloud? Netlify, and uh, I think with the release of Next.js 9.3, it's it's gotten even more confusing because it adds static site support, and it's hard to tell the differences between Gatsby and Next and where each one shines. And then even further, um, Netlify, Vercel, Gatsby, all are putting out tons of amazing features, which make it difficult to determine where you want to host your site. So I'm going to kind of talk about the current state of things and give my opinions and input on you know, where I like to host my sites and the pros and cons of those approaches. So really there's a lot going on in the Jamstack space right now. Uh, if you don't know, Jamstack stands for JavaScript APIs and Markup. So I think this diagram kind of ex explains it really well. It's actually um, coined by Netlify's co-founder and it's really changing the way that a lot of people build websites. Um, it's, it bridges that gap between what a static site is and it gives it that dynamic functionality. So with Jamstack, you get to take advantage of all the performance, security, and scalability um, advantages that you get while still having that dynamic data through a database or through you know, some APIs, GraphQL, whatever you have. Um, so this has been really feasible at a small scale and for you know, smaller projects, but it's always seemed very difficult to scale that to a million pages dealing with really large build times on Jamstack applications. And that was the number one pain point with a lot of users of Gatsby. Um, reducing the build time of Gatsby's builds was actually their number one most requested feature. And they had been working on this for over two years. So for them to launch this incremental builds in Gatsby Cloud is a really, really big milestone. Um, there's only one caveat to this, which is for Gatsby, it is integrated the best through Gatsby Cloud, which requires a professional plan, which is like $100 a month. Um, and I, I have mixed feelings on this because for something with this level of technical complexities, it almost does need to be baked into the deployment provider for the best experience. Uh, they, have, they have this ability um, available for Gatsby, the open source project uh, under an experimental flag right now. But to actually use that, you have to have a tight integration with your deployment provider. So Netlify is another provider that has this setup that allows you to do incremental builds. Um, you know, we see a lot of parallels with the route that Next.js and Vercel is taking. So Next has a incremental static generation proposal that uh, in a lot of ways, answers a lot of the same questions that Gatsby is trying to solve with their uh, incremental builds in Gatsby Cloud. Um, just like Gatsby, Next.js is open source, um, which is trying to unlock using Jamstack for those larger applications. Um, but for Vercel, they are trying to provide the best platform to deploy their Next.js apps. So they're gonna give you that first class support for this incremental static generation on their platform in the same way that Gatsby Cloud is doing it as well. With Vercel, my opinion is that Vercel is like AWS for front end developers. It, it's so powerful and all of the back end needs that a front end developer might have are really now available as SaaS products. And as a front end developer, you can kind of own that entire stack and that entire product experience and just skip all of the boilerplate that you need and just focus on shipping applications. And what's crazy is that many of the, you know, hundreds of thousand Next.js developers that are out there, which according to them is about 30% of all React developers are probably going to choose Vercel as their platform because it's the best place to deploy Next.js apps. So I think that this speaks volumes for kind of the larger industry. The growth of Jamstack and Next and, Next and Gatsby uh, is, is really a good thing because it's unlocking that static site functionality for even the largest of sites possible. 
So I really want them both to succeed, but it, it, it puts a lot of confusion on a developer for which framework should I use and, and where should I host it. So I'm just gonna kind of give some of my opinions. If you're trying to build a hybrid application, I think that Next.js is a better approach. Now, what I mean by a hybrid application is merging different types of rendering. So you have client-side rendering, server-side rendering, and then you could also be doing just fully static sites. To show a kind of a tangible example of this, um, my website that I have my blog on, it's a fully hybrid Next.js application. I have um, static pages for my blog. I have a static shell that gets served for the dashboard that then loads information from APIs on the client side. And then I also have serverless functions that are included with Next.js API routes. So if you're building an application like this, I think Next.js is just far superior because it allows you to keep it all inside of one project. I think that's where a lot of Jamstack applications have fell down in the past is that they don't provide an easy way to kind of shift your rendering as your application grows because as it gets larger, you're probably going to need to selectively on a like a per page basis say, you know, I want some of these to be static and I want some of these to be server side rendered, for example. So that's really why I like Next.js. But, you know, if you're already using GraphQL, um, Gatsby might make more sense. Uh, you can use Gatsby without GraphQL, but uh, it's really one of the key features that it tries to promote and use. Uh, and I think that with incremental builds, it kind of takes away probably the biggest pain point that people had using Gatsby for larger sites, which is build time. And so if you're deploying to Gatsby Cloud or Netlify, you know, it's going to take care of that for you. Um, I, I don't believe that Vercel has support for incremental builds with Gatsby yet, but I would assume that's something that they're going to try to add in. Uh, another really big advantage of Gatsby is its plugin system. Uh, a lot of, so Next does have plugins, but it doesn't have nearly as many as Gatsby. Um, I see, I mean, there's 1900 here, which is just insane. So pretty much everything that you need to do, you can probably get a plugin, you know, image resizing, sourcing different files, plugins, you know, different CSS and JS, et cetera. Um, I think that this is a really big opportunity for Next to improve on. Um, because a lot of these things, it can save you a lot of time if you can just pull a plugin off the shelf and use it. So I think that it really depends on what you're trying to build. For example, I talked about with my website, I needed to have serverless functions through API routes. And I think that as people are building, you know, larger React applications or Jamstack sites, you're probably going to need serverless functions or at least some server integration to communicate with your APIs so that you can, you know, host your secrets and not expose them on the client side, right? Um, so if you do have serverless functions, in, in my opinion, there's really two main ways to use these with Jamstack applications. One is through Vercel and Next.js, and the other is through Netlify functions, which is also very, very promising. Netlify functions are essentially like AWS Lambda functions. They just abstract away all of the boilerplate and the crap that you don't want to worry about. Um, so I would recommend I would recommend using Netlify functions. I think they're really great um, because you know front end developers really want this one stop shop, right? They want to have their front end markup and the logic that can connect them with all of these different APIs and platforms kind of in one place and. I think that serverless functions unlock this for a lot of people. That's kind of why I built this website called Jamstack Functions, which is just listing kind of a directory of all these different serverless functions that you can use to kind of integrate into your Jamstack sites and you know sprinkle in some extra functionality. So a great example of this might be MailChimp. Uh, I can toggle between Next.js and Vercel or Netlify and just get the code for what it would look like to subscribe to a newsletter. And I even throw in steps on how to actually add this to your website and hook this up so that you can get that dynamic functionality with your static site. Um, I think that I'm gonna try to add a bunch more in here too so that there's a lot of examples of things that you can kind of just pull off the shelf.
and improve on your static sites. But anyways, I went on a tangent. Um, going back to serverless functions and where you should deploy your application, um, I think really where Vercel exceeds the most is that tight integration with serverless functions. And, and that's why it's the best way to deploy Next.js applications. You can develop locally, you can have static pages, server side rendering and API routes and deploy it to Vercel and everything just works as you would expect it. You know, it pre-renders those HTML pages. It will take care of server side rendering for you. And it also spins up the lambdas for your API routes. So if you do need to do serverless functions, uh, I would either recommend doing Next.js with Vercel or doing Netlify since you can use Netlify functions with Gatsby. Um, Either one of those are going to be really great options, in my opinion, and allow you to build um, applications that will scale out further when your requirements change, especially if you're trying to build something that is really large and you might need to have that hybrid application approach. That's really where Next shines, allowing you to, on a per page basis, specify if you want to be static, server side rendered, or you know, whatever you need. So yeah, I think that wraps it up. Uh, leave me a comment if I missed anything or if you have any other suggestions for the Vercel or Gatsby and you know where you like to host your Jamstack sites. I think there's a lot of really great players in this space right now and I'm really excited to see it grow. So thanks for watching.